Hi everyone, and welcome to the Stout Stitch Crochet Podcast. My name is Zach. I'm so excited to talk to you today about Knit Crate. So a couple of weeks ago, I was asked by Knit Crate to be an affiliate for them, and I was a little bit shocked because this is not, um, this isn't something that I had really tried before. Um, I hadn't, you know, reached out to them or asked about it in, in any way. I had seen this on YouTube and Instagram, people doing reviews and talking about it, and I always thought it looked really cool. Um, but I had tried a couple of subscription boxes in the past, and I didn't really have a great experience, and so I was a little hesitant to try something else. So whenever they asked me if I would like to try one of their boxes, I said sure, and this came in the mail. I cut the seal, the tape, but I haven't looked in it yet. I've been trying to stay off of social media because I know a couple of friends that do knit crate reviews, and so I didn't want to see what it was. I wanted to be genuinely surprised for the video that I'm doing for you guys. Um, so I'm gonna open this up. We're gonna look and see what is in there, um, and then hopefully it'll be something great, right? And then you can get your own box and you can join me on this knit crate journey. So, okay, so on the very top, it has a little paper that says Sunscape. It says, uh, here comes the sun in all her golden glory, lighting up clouds in shades of rich golden yellow and red, fading away to soft mauve, retreating with the fading turquoise evening. Well, that's lovely. Um, knit and crochet club colors on the back it just has lots of information different types of yarn different colors pattern downloads um and then uh it's got a code for a digital booklet with your subscription that's pretty cool okay oh okay <laughs> so oh this is soft here is what the yarn looks like it's like a pale pink, if you can see that. Um, I love pink, so this is something that I'm pretty excited about. And you get two skeins of yarn. This is Vitalana. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Um, right there. And it looks like it's called Misty Dawn. 50% superwash merino wool and 50% tinsel huh i didn't expect that it's very soft it's fingering weight um so 400 yards 100 grams hand wash gently lay flat to dry um this is great i love i don't know if you can there you go you can see it um the pale color my lights that's a little bit closer to what it is right right there. Okay, I was gonna say my lights are making it a little bit lighter, um, but it's a light pink. There's a bag in here, that's cute. Um, a little knit crate bag. I'm excited for this because one of the things that I struggle with whenever I purchase new yarn or whenever I see yarn is figuring out what pattern I'm gonna use it for. I'm one of those people, I don't know if you're the same way, that I will see yarn and I will buy it without really having anything in mind. <laughs> um, and so very rarely do I pick out a pattern first and then go shop for yarn, unless I already have the yarn in my house. Um, but this is cool because it gives you these codes so where you can go and look at the patterns online. Um, or if you have something in mind, for 800 yards of fingering weight yarn. I think that's a pretty good amount to do something like a shawl, um, maybe like a, a scarf or use it in a, in a sweater for like color work. Um, I think that's pretty, pretty cool. It's, it feels really nice. I feel like it'll be good against the skin. I'm not worried about it like irritating my skin or anything like that. Like I said, I really like the pink. Um, I like the, the solid color for sure, and I know they're not all gonna be like this, um, but I am excited to see what kind of patterns they suggest. That was another reason that I was hesitant to try Knit Crate as well. Um, honestly, just because of the name. 
because I didn't know if Knit Crate was going to just have patterns for knitting, but they have crochet patterns as well. Um, so I am looking forward to going and checking that out. Um, it's pretty cool. And so this cute bag, I don't know if they all come with that bag or if they all come with like different things. Like I said, I haven't um, done a whole lot of research on it, but I am excited to share with you guys. Um, I'm gonna post a link in the description down below where you can click on and you can uh, use my code Zach, which is just Z-A-C-H, um, to get, uh, I think it is $40 off of your first box and 20% off of one item in the shop. Um, so be sure and follow that link if you want to join Knit Crate and you wanna start that subscription because uh, you can get a pretty good discount using that code. Uh, thank you for checking out this video. If you guys have any questions, be sure and let me know. I'll be happy to talk with you about it, and I can't wait to see what you guys are going to make. Um, if you have Knit Crate, kind of let me know what your experience is. Tell me um, what you like about the process, what you like about the yarn. Do you use the patterns that come with the yarn that comes in the box, or do you just kind of find your own? I want to know more about how everybody kind of does this because I feel like if I don't find something to do with it pretty quick, it's going to build up in my yarn stash, which isn't always a bad thing, but thank you guys so much. Uh, like I said, be sure and check out that link in the description box. Leave me a comment down below and I will see you on the next one. Bye.